Modifying a sea kayak for camping and fishing. I customize my kayaks for local conditions I have up here, which are generally pretty rough and the rivers are pretty serious, so I modify them up. I'm going to show you some of the changes I made to my kayak for that. I also use these kayaks a lot for camping, big expeditions to Alaska, local camping, and I'll jump right into it here. So one of the first modifications I did that you're not going to be able to see very well is I reinforced the entire bottom of this fiberglass kayak with uh, several layers of fiberglass. And it's quite a few layers thicker on the bottom and especially on the keel, seven or eight layers down the keel of the boat. But with uh, fishing, you're going to, especially fishing rivers, running up on shores, rocky stuff, you're going to tear into the bottom quite a bit, especially the big rivers we have in the northwest. You're really going to hit a lot of rocks going down it. You're going to have to have more layers. I'll run through some of the details now and hope it, uh, it helps with some people who are trying to set up sea kayaks to go fishing out of. I use a backing plate on everything, so when I have a, a bolt through the, through the hull, it's got to have a backing plate behind it, and this backing plate generally runs out about here. Backing plates uh, run underneath everything, and the mount, this mount obviously doesn't have to have a backing plate where the wires go through, but there's another smaller backing plate here and a larger backing plate there. You can see right there, that this black piece right there. This actually holds a tray, a little tackle tray slides up in there. Rod holders, I've got mounts for four of them. I use three at a time, sometimes I use four. The rack, I, a lot of people have asked me about the rack. It's basically an uh, inch and a quarter wide by eighth inch thick aluminum bar stock pinned at the corners. It's about an inch and a half wider than the kayak at the front edge here. The back edge, I made it long enough so that I could attach it to the rear handle with a, with a rope right there. It seems to work best. This one screws in and off really easy. I just had a bolt come all the way through the fitting there. Put a wing nut on the end. Uh, I put an extra ram mount. This is a one inch ram mount for my camera holder. Occasionally I put a camera on there to get the over the over the shoulder shot quite easy to make I uh, just make a basket out of this uh, mesh that you can buy in any hardware store It's pinned to the aluminum with a, a fender washer and a stainless steel nut and bolt there Everything stainless steel and the aluminum will rust pretty quickly around the water Fish finder it's wired in I'll show you there one of the downsides to a fish finder is you can't cut the cable and splice it shorter, it won't work, so you have to carry this big bundle of cable, which is not what I want to do, but tie wrap it up, shove it back in there, goes in there, and you can see the, see the uh, transducer right there mounting to the bulkhead so that the transducer is about, oh, an eighth to a quarter of an inch above the hull, and with a little bit of water in that area, that acts as a, an acoustic transducer and it uh, shoots its little signal right through the hull. Some of the people ask me about the model of the boat. It's a, this is a 1990 Necky Tesla. It's an um, older boat. It fits me fairly well and I think that's probably the most important thing to talk about when you talk about uh, getting into a sea kayak. Keep looking. If you don't find one that you slip into and think, ha, huh, this is really nice and comfortable, keep moving along. All right, I hope it's a useful video and give it a thumbs up. Keep subscribing. I'm gonna head back to Alaska this year, so I plan on doing a lot of videos. And thanks for being a subscriber if you are. Keep me fueled to make more of these videos. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.